Hello, welcome back. Last time I did this cool room, which took me a while to figure out. Um, I feel like I should give this another try, but... Oh, part of me doesn't want to, but let's at least see if I can figure out anything new about this. So brain allows gel babies to reach me from in there. I get up to, what is it, six toggles of that? Let's count exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, it's seven. All right, so I get up to seven toggles, ending, uh, since it's an odd number, ending on gel. Or I could get six and end on mud. Or I could do fewer if I need to. I need this to toggle seven times total. But just because those two numbers are the same doesn't mean they're actually related. Hey, you remember this thing I was doing where a mud baby here didn't know to get here, turned into a gel baby, then went north, then turned into a mud baby and went back south? I had done that with the mud baby sitting on the pressure plate. What if it sat down here? That would be significantly better, and I think that would solve the whole puzzle. Okay, so like, fill this with mud. Uh, yeah, so there has to be a U-shape all the way, all the way down to there. This space needs to be clear. Alternately, I could do it like this if that's any easier. It's not, they're the same, right? Okay, so I see a shape, um... Yeah, those are pretty much the same thing. Um... I'll just let this grow a bit. So let's trim it. No, I'll let that grow, but then... What I'm looking to do is to keep this space clear. It's kind of a pain. Yeah, how am I going to do it? It's more than kind of a pain, it's like really a pain. If I do this, uh, it doesn't let me do what I want. Yeah, okay, so I need to manufacture this shape with mud. Uh, that's fine, I can do it. Okay, that's a little more of a problem. Yeah, that's where it gets problematic. Uh, I ran into this last time. Like, making it actually grow that way is tough. And I'm not really sure how to do it. Like, that's pretty much the entire challenge of the room. How to clear out this space while you are mud. While growing all the way in there. I have one idea for how to maybe do it. Um, gonna have to delete, uh, destroy a lot of this to, to get this going. So yeah, reduce the footprint a whole lot. Uh, a little more, it's gonna have to be. Okay, well, you did that. Of course you did. Gonna have to insert my body here. Okay, that kind of... No, didn't really do what I wanted. Oh, boy. You just grow too much. See, I have to cut in here. Let's have that in the very corner, and it's still... Wow! It still grows all the way back there. Okay, there we go. So it didn't when I was in that position, but then that happened. Alright, so here we go. That's very similar to what I want. That's extremely similar to what I want. Yeah, this is close to perfect. If I'd wait one more, it would grow like that. Okay. If I'd stab this, it would grow like that. Okay. If I'd... Leave you there? Whoa, whoa. Okay, right, you're brained. Never mind. If I'd... Okay, that's... Kinda similar to... Oh, what I want. So yeah, now that I've seen the shape, the... Format of this puzzle comes into focus. Okay, so what do I want? I can stealth, if necessary, to stop growth. This is... You know, this will expand to there, this will expand to there, fully filling in 
that whole territory. So if you grow, you're going to grow like that. If I insert my body, then you're going to grow like that. If I insert my body and that of a mud baby... Well, I'm not really successfully doing that right now. Let's, um... Wait a moment. Whoa, no, I need you. There's some potential for that. Okay, so just do that 16 turns later. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, that's getting there. I kind of want the opposite, though. So then I want my body to be up there. Okay, that can be arranged, I think. Uh, can it be done with you, or do I want the other one? I want the other one. Okay, so I'll stand like that. Uh, on what turn? 26 or something? 20... Yeah, that was 24. 26 or something. Okay, there we go. That's getting... Pretty close to what I want. Let's just keep you around for a moment. You can totally be my guy. So one, two, three. Right shape, but problems. Let's bring two guys. Yeah, okay, so just more mud babies can maybe solve this particular problem. So you come here. Just sit there. You're not going to just sit there. Okay, here, well, I'll make you a pocket then. Now, I'm going to stab this. So there we go. Two mud babies, both in here. Not quite ready for a growth yet, but this should totally do it. In fact, I can just sit here, let these fill the space, and this will make exactly the shape I want. Great. Okay, that's the shape. I did it. Mostly did it. I want to leave you alive. Okay. All right. I think I figured out the pattern. That was not so bad. I just had, hadn't been able to see it before. Uh, I need you to just walk over that one more time. Uh, do I want to allow growth yet? No. Give me a moment. Okay. So evil eyes. See me? Come here. Uh, are you in the right order? Yes. Okay. So we get a toggle. Toggle, toggle, toggle. Oh man, this totally does it. Oops. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> uh, problem. <sighs> of course, there's one extra final problem. You. I guess I just need to time that a little bit differently. Such that you end right there. So I want this to be four turns later. All right. I guess I can sit here for one, two, three, four turns. Okay. That's a cuttable shape. Cool. Well doesn't matter that it's a cuttable shape. What matters is I can reach that eyeball. Okay. I knew this room wouldn't be so bad. Brain, right. That's why it's still red. Don't forget that. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I like how there's there's uh, shallow water next to the brain. So it's like, hey, I can hide here to prevent the tar from growing. But no, uh, it'll still grow because you're in range of the brain. Brain can smell you. Okay, great. I'm glad that didn't turn into too much of a thing. Red Serpent. Disarm token. So that's the release. I need to set up something. There's no mud growth here. No mud mothers. So I just have this shape to do something with. What am I doing? I just need to kill you, that's all. So I need a killing space for you. Uh, made of mud babies, I guess? Oh, well, this seems very simple. Except I can't get any mud babies out of there. 
Why would I toggle my armedness? Oh, I can get out of here after I do this. Okay, so I come in here, I hit the orb, the serpent is released and I lose my sword. Then I need to lead it around somewhere while disarmed. Now that's a problem if I have any mud babies alive. Okay, so uh, thank you for the clear demonstration that serpents go across shallow water. I saw that with adders earlier, so I could extrapolate wherever that was uh, to serpents doing it. But I really appreciate that this is directly on shallow water to remind me. So all I have to do is make a serpent killing space with mud here. And I think there's a technique to that that I learned in some hold or another. I forget which one it was. Um, but there's some trickiness to cutting into a blob of mud like this to make a space where a serpent can die. However, I think I can do it if I cut here? No. Here? Yes. There we go. All right. So that's a space. Lose sword, gain serpent, lead across water, and kill. Great. You come. No, 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 no. You come. Done. Okay. Comparatively real simple. Twelfth place. More people conquered that room than the previous one. <laughs> Where I got ninth place, which was also last. All right, so I've got a problem with hitting this orb. I, I don't see a power token in the room. I do see health, though. Hey, health, you're here. All right, so only health. This is, um... Yeah, what the other guy said. Come on. Okay. Stay put. Yeah, sure. Wonder if I could have seen different dialogue if I'd come to him first. I'm gonna check. So, checkpoint in neutral space. There, you. So you're my restore point. If I go all the way back here, uh, hold on, let's go like here. Hey, health, you got anything to say? Hey there, I used to have dialogue before someone decided to cut the excuse plot from this holds. Okay, that's the same text as the soldier, right? Yeah, what the other guy said. Okay. <laughs> so no unique one for each one of them. I was hoping. That's fine. Okay, so uh, health is uh, it's this kind of health, the kind that can wade in shallow water. Uh, he grew up tall enough to not have his head underwater. Or, you know, learn to swim or something. So he's the one who has to open this. To request that, I have to bump that, sure. And I see other things that I'll need to bump along the way for him to do stuff to, like, disrupt mud growth or something? No, I can't disrupt mud growth with just him. Ah, uh, he's got to block this space at a specific time so this can turn the corner. Then the same here. Okay, that seems doable. I think for this one, the most reasonable is to have him coming from here to here. For this one, the most reasonable is for it to have him coming from here yeah to here okay so my order is bump 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 at very specific times I mean I'll just trial and error it to get it to to work but I see exactly what's gonna go on oh uh Problem? No, that's not a problem. That is fine. I can do this and get to all the doors still, and also get back here still. Okay. Oh, health. You're home. I'm gonna have to... Let's just put you in this water. Actually. I don't have to interact with some of these. Actually, I don't have to yeah. interact with most of these. Stay put. Yeah, sure. Well, I can use one for rehoming. That's fine. So I'll just leave you there up until this grows to there. Then I'll ask you to open this. Ask you to change your mind and open that. So you come here and rehome there. 
so that you're in line with this. Ooh, what are your preferences? Do you prefer diagonal or orthogonal? I might have to home you specifically right in this diagonal, which is fine. I can do that. Okay. So you've grown there. I want your home to be... Where was it? Whoa! Uh, Here-ish. Okay, I can do that. So I'm going to request this. Wait until you're there. Request this. So that's your home now. So regardless of any preferences, you should just directly step on the... I had you step on the wrong tile. Okay, so just wait a moment longer. So that's where I want your home. Because the place I want you to step is actually here, not here. Okay. Simple stuff. I played Floating Friendship Facility. Uh, I could even just set this up now so I don't have to worry about anything. There we go. Alright, done. Hold on, no, I have... He can't stay there. No, I do have to actually time this one. Alright, so you're gonna move one, two, three, four, five. So right now. Oh, no! Move order wrong. Okay, well, that's fine. One earlier. Oh, half. 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 Your preferences are all wrong. You're ruining my plan. Okay, so I want your home somewhere else then. So I had requested it right then. <sighs> what are your preferences exactly? Okay, I have an idea. I think if I do this... No, it's no good. Uh, this might be alright. If this is your home, and the mud has grown to here, then you should go straight north there, unless you decide to go around the south. You might. Um, I don't know which is close. So I needed to, well, not do that at that exact moment. All right. I guess I can wait a little longer on this, just so you don't happen to line up with those. Then I want you there-ish, I think. So the hope is you will decide this way is quicker than this way. I think you will. That looks, at a glance, closer. So I'm going to want one, two, three, four, five. Once again. Whoops. Two, three, four, five. What the heck, health? Oh, I have the wrong orb. That's my problem. Okay, so I had the wrong orb. That's fine. I can switch to this one for this task. All right, so you're there. So five. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, and health is... Oh, no, his home is wrong. So I do have to assign a different home for him, because now he's going to stand where the mud's growing. Okay, so, so, um, I guess I'll try and see what happens when I make a request, if I make a request to, to him when he's here. What are you doing? Alright. Different plan. Instead, I'll set your home... 
somewhere up there? Oh, going. Let's say maybe that might work. All right, so at this point you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's just hope he doesn't decide to go like this. All right, so nine to that. Like this, come on, health, be reasonable. Dang it, health! Oh, going. Okay, so how can I do this in such a way that won't uh, do weird things with his preferences? See, this is just making it annoying because I can't predict which diagonal or orthogonal he'll decide to take. Health's pathfinding algorithm is known to be very unpredictable in that kind of preference. And it's really, and this puzzle requires me to make an impossible prediction about it, so I just have to see whether the thing works or not. No, like, what I'm looking for is a route that doesn't involve that kind of predictions. So if he's diagonally away from this orb, he'll take a shortest path. So if I can get him in line with this... Yeah, why couldn't I hold him here? And then bring him there? What was wrong with that? If he's going for this orb... I guess I had decided for some reason to go to the wrong orb. Okay, so I think I can make this predictable. All I would have to do is grow it to here. Make a request to this. And then make a request... Yeah, yeah, yeah this is fine. No, it's not, because diagonally in line with that is there instead of... Oh, gross. So it had to be in line with something he doesn't block off. If I'd ask you to... No, it's too late already. What if instead of asking you this... Okay, so right now I'm going to set your home to there. Oh, going. And I'll just ask you to leave when it's time to leave. That should be fine. Oh, got it. His home will be blocked by the time stuff happens. So I'll wait about as long as possible for this. Oh, going. Oh, got uh, that's actually fine. Okay, so your home is blocked. Mm, no, it needs to become blocked while he's out, so I need that a little earlier. Yeah, when he's on his way back, his home needs to get blocked. Alright, so now this is a fine puzzle. Your home is gone. Stop going back to it. What are you doing, Half? Half! No! Don't go next to your home! <sighs> really? That's just annoying. Okay, so it costs zero orbs to have me set his home to this. What do you do if I ask you to go there? Nothing like what I would want. Just take some random path through here. Zigzag. He zigs and zags however he wants. He does step across that tile right there. Got it. Got it. None of this will prevent what I want to prevent, though. Yes, it will. This will actually work. Okay, so this route is valid. I just need to do it later. What was that route? Southeast, northeast, northwest, southwest. Okay. Got it. So here's how this is going to work. I wait for that. Southeast. Then since I know he does... 
How is it? I do this, and he does happen to... And now he happens not to step there. Great, it changed for some reason. Nobody knows why. It just decided to. How... F so this mud that's way over here, completely unrelated to anything he's doing there, is changing his priorities. Gross. No, I mean, no matter what I do here, I'm at the mercy of health priorities. At least that's what it seems to me. No, I don't want to use that one up. Um, so this orb is special because... When he tries to return from this orb to his home here, well, he might decide to step here instead, but he will land next to it, possibly in the water. Great. Man. <sighs> what an annoying child. Like, if you were just, if you would just follow a consistent set of rules somehow, and not, like, change your mind on how you're going to walk from here to here because of something that's a thousand miles away over here. Everything would be better. So this is the special one. This Okay, so I can use any combination of these three to find a way to get him into this position right now. Okay, so a possible combination would be these. He didn't decide to step there. All right. Another possible one would be this. Ah, that would be good, but I wasn't fast enough. Maybe he'll return on that path? He didn't. Yeah, I just can't be fast enough now. What a weird problem to have. Yeah, maximum speed doesn't get me there quick enough. Okay, so that's a new problem. Maybe there's an alternative to... this. Doesn't feel to me like there will be, though. Wait a second, I have an idea. So to get him off of this space... What if I get him off, like, now-ish? And there. So then you set your home there. Possibly changing my parameters in maybe a good way. Nope, not useful. Okay, so what if I spend this on that and set your home down there? Actually, this has some potential. I got you out of the way in one toggle. So now I th think I should be able to bump this, then bump that in such a way that should guarantee that he takes this route through there to that. Uh, okay, now I know how to make this reliable. I first use these two. No. No. Maybe. Unknown. This may work, but it might decide not to. I don't know how many I want. Maybe that many? Okay, he did it. But now I'm out of orbs. And he's gonna home back to... Oh no, he homed back to there. Okay, right. So because his home was in the water, uh, this happened to work. See, that could just as easily have not worked. He could have decided to take this route. Or, you know, this route. Or something. Anything else that his whims decided to make him do. All right, well, I solved the room. 
I would love to know if there was a solution to that that didn't involve, like, the whims of a child. If there's some way to do it that's more reliable. Who wants to show me something cool? MX Vladi? I don't know. You'll probably do some ridiculous optimized solution that just works by arcane magic. Yeah, you didn't even move health initially. Yeah, so his path there just happened to take you across there. Yeah, no, you homed him in the same place that I did for this step. Yeah, the, the this involved the whims of a child. He might have done that instead. Yuck. Like, I mean, yeah. I just don't feel like incorporating something which has no written rule set for it uh, into your puzzle makes a good puzzle. Everything else was fine about that room. It's a cool room. It's just ruined by my nephew. All right. Well, cool. <laughs> so that's a floor done. Uh, half of the hold, I guess. Mud. Nice try, but that's like the easiest of the tar stuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how it's used. <laughs> I mean, in some sense, yes. There are no checkpoints in neutral space in this room. How about this one? There's one. Okay. Neat. Alright, uh, see you next time to see what the other level is going to be like. Very different theme, probably.